Hey guys, good news, bad news. Uh, the good news is we don't have to look for a way into the massage parlor anymore. The bad news is that we can't go there until later. I actually had to resort to looking up old game FAQ uh, discussion board entries from like 2013, 12, 11, somewhere in there. So I guess we're going to have to put our exploration on hold for the time being and go do what we're supposed to. I don't know. I tried not to look too far ahead, so hopefully I will be too surprised. But I just asked, you know, found the direct question. What in the world? Hey, this water actually works correctly. That's pretty nice. I guess it had something to do with the sewers not having a skybox to reflect. I don't know. Oh, geez. Are you guys ready? Welcome, kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ling Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea bag? Um, no thank you. Ah, that is right. Your kind drinks solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal realm. A shame. You really don't have to rub it in, you know. Um, would that I could again, but alas, yeah, I'm just gonna triple for my own words. Yes, we Kui Jin are similar to you, Kindred, in fewer ways than you might imagine. Uh, Kui Jin? We are called the Kui Jin, though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a great misnomer, I can assure you. Okay. Are you the leader? In a sense, yes. You may think of me as the Baron of Chinatown, to borrow from your cause, canine language. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Alright, um... Are you descended from Cain? <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic canine bloodline. But you are a vampire. <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are oh my god, your thumbs, woman. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. Okay, the second breath? The second breath, our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. You're mean. I get it. Oh no, dear kindred. You misunderstand me. I mean, you coulda fooled me. So how are we similar? We share superficial similarities. Quajin feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. Hmm. You can choose to become supernatural? The events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. Okay. Why are you choosing? The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. Huh. Okay, I have a few other questions. I'm looking for a missing Nosferatu. So, the great Nosferatu had lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. Do you have any idea where we could find him? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Who's Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. I'll head down there, thank you. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now, you can find your path, Kindred. Thanks. Well, that was nice of you. Um, well, let's go talk to Wong Ho, I guess. Do, 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 do. 
Huang Ho. Well, the Red Dragon is that bar where we had that unfortunate accident with the with the young teenage girl. Um, what? Are we witnessing the plot to Double Dragon? What is going on here? I'm going to assume we have to go back this way and get the quest before we can solve it. Zoop. Yeah? Hi. What the hell I care? Well, that wasn't very useful. <sighs> Hello? Who was there? Here to see Wang Ho. Bye. Hey, I'm sorry about that whole suck in your blood thing. I really am. And what do you want? I'll let you know when I figure it out. <laughs> Second floor, huh? <sighs> Doors that open outward are the devil. Stop. Hey, what's up? Sorry. You oh, you're Lu Fang, not. Second floor? How do you get to the second floor? Where do you go to the second floor? I don't understand. I don't understand. Alright, well let's leave out the front door and go to the back door and maybe that will help. I don't know. This map is particularly confusing. Second floor. Um... All right, we should be able to get around behind the building from here. I'm not, oh, nope. Okay, I take that back. There doesn't seem to be a way to get into the alleys behind the restaurant. We might have to go back inside and try again. Um, maybe outside the walls? Yeah, here we go. We might have a bit more luck here. Never mind. All right, well, let's go see if we can find stairs that we couldn't find before. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe I... Don't understand where I'm supposed to be going. Second floor, she said. Second floor. How do I get to the second floor? Second floor. Where do you go to the second floor? Over there. Second floor. Fine. Fine. Second floor. This is the bathroom. Not the second floor. We have established. Hey, there's a watch. Great. Um, no more Yankee, my wanky. The Fanga need food. What? I don't understand. There is obviously not a second floor in this building. I am very confused. Um, all right, well, I guess I don't know what to do. <sighs> All right, hold on. I have no idea where to go. <sighs> what? Something else. Tell me your secrets. Second floor, have a good night. Goodbye. Wait, what? You opened the elevator with your magical mind powers? <sighs> what? <laughs> what in the hell is that? Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's go up, I guess. No, I don't want to be here anymore. Let me go up. Close the elevator. Up, please. Thank you. Oh, she's on the phone now. Yikes.
there's a throwing star. That's a little worrisome. Um, hey, buddy. Where are you? Oh, what's up? Sorry, I... That's the reaction that I assumed. What happened? Kiki, my daughter. They grabbed her. They called and said, Wong Ho has meddled with Tong for the last time. Um, might not be the best time, but Ming Zhao sent me. Oh, of course. Please forgive me, but as you can see, I am in the most terrible situation. I am Wong Ho, owner of the Red Dragon. Again, I apologize for my inconsiderate behavior. That's cool. What's going on, man? The Tong, a local street gang here in Chinatown, just broke into my restaurant and kidnapped my daughter at gunpoint. How did they find the elevator? And now they have my Kiki. That makes Daddy angry. Do you know where she is? I'll go get her. No. The Tong have many... Excuse me a moment. Hello. Zhao. Huh? Yes. How did you... Did you just put your phone on the desk and now you're just holding up your empty hand? I see. Oh, what? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> repaid a thousand times over. Yes. Of course. Goodbye. Wow. That did not sound like Tong. That was... Someone who owed me a... Well, come on, man. Let me roll out. Just tell me where, and someone better call the coroner. He is being held at the Lotus Blossom, a massage parlor here in Chinatown. If you bring her back to me, I will help you in any way that I can. Man, brother, you're speaking my language. I was already on my way. Thank you. I shall wait here until you return. Strike fast. The tongue will not be expecting anyone so soon. Thank you. We're not friends yet, but I think we will be. You are polite. You are apologetic. I can almost overlook this whole elevator situation. Klaus. Thank you. Couldn't you have told me about the elevator sooner? Let's go rescue the girl, beat up the street gang, and basically live all of my uh, Double Dragon Dreams. Double Dragon Dreams would be a pretty decent name for that game, actually. Um, the Lotus Blossom was over here. What's up, dude? What? What's up? Let's go. All right, guys, let's see. Hey, hey you, how much for a massage, buddy? Are we going in, like, are we going in weapons loaded or are we going in, like, relaxed and chill? I'm gonna just do this, just in case. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I prepared for this eventuality. It's kind of cool. He, like, crouched down and hid to refill his ammo. What? What? Where? Oh, okay. Getting shot from over there. My bad. What? That woman just went superhuman. She just like disappeared and then appeared again in another location. Oh gosh. Excuse me, lady. Oh, ladies, now is not a great time. I would really prefer not to hurt you. In fact, I would really prefer not to hurt any of these people, but I really don't have much of a choice. 
Okay. I know that a lot of guys came from that stairway, but I'm going to try and make my way through the rest of this place first. Hmm. I don't like surprises. Hey, I'm really sorry about this, okay? Just, I'm, nope, go ahead, go ahead. Just, n never mind. All right, hey, oh, cool, you're back to normal, everything's cool? That's good. What's up, dude? You're not even, you're just not phased by this, huh? All right, well, that's fine. You know, you'd think I should probably, like, be more careful opening all these doors. <laughs> I, I don't really know. All right, well, okay, so there's nothing here. Here's a stairway up. There's another stairway other side. Let's take this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my God, more doors. Men's bathroom. Horrible peep show video cassette. Yeah, we're gonna just, we're just gonna take that and put that somewhere else. Yeah, okay. Um. And here's another one. Well, guess what? They will have none of that on my watch. But where did this lead into? Is this the... Oh, goodness. All right, well... Um... Yeah, gross. Okay, great. So... What the hell? Are you just dead? No, you're alive. The camera's just watching you sleep. Oh, I'm sorry I interrupted your sleep study. I mean, this is a weird location to have it, but... Alright, um... And here's that other stairway that led up here. Here's the kitchen where the guards hang out. Here's a... See if I can padlock this. Low difficulty of seven, that should be no problem. Boom. Alright. This is a weird place. Hey, what's up? I'm sorry, I'm letting you out. What? Are you a little tall for a tongue? That's a Star Wars reference, and no. Tall, you know, like not short cheeks. <coughs> the stupid, stupid, and stupid. I'm not a thug, but yes, they all are very, very similar. They all look basically the same. I'm not a thug. No, I'm here to rescue you. Your dad sent me. Oh, I'm so impressed. What? Like you want me to thank you or something? In your dream, asshole. Let's just get the hell out of That's here. That's an original idea. Man, dad must really be hurting for good help. Lead the way, hero. I don't have to take this. Just follow me, all right? Where's my... <clears throat> Okay. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you're already not doing so great. Let's not walk you through the whole bathhouse. Let's just walk you through here. Oh, I just remembered. Hey, uh, I have to run an errand real quick. So uh, can you just chill with the whole existence thing? I have to try. What is going on here? These people just don't care. They're just like, yeah, man, whatever. Happens every other week. <laughs> now I have to find the lock. There, that, that's convenient. All right, let's place this bad luck talisman. Hey, what the hell you think you're doing? That's my lock, sucker. Obviously, there's been a misunderstanding. I thought it was mine. No misunderstanding. I saw you. What the hell did you put in my locker? You know who I am, huh? You're a side sucker. Calm down. It's an it's a mistake. All right. Well, I guess that's one kind of bad news. Where's Kiki? Did she just like wander off? All right, whatever. Okay, um, 
I wonder if I failed that quest. I got experience for placing it. I guess shooting the guy really didn't hurt anything, which is a weird statement to make. All right, let's just let's just go. You have a fine establishment, sir. It's bizarre. Why can't I leave? Where's Kiki? God. That's wrong. Up. Where are the stairs? Over here. Okay. Where did she get stuck? I mean, I guess with these super narrow hallways, I can't really blame her, but where is she? What? Come on. Gosh, you're annoying. Come on. Here we go. Come on down this way. Great. Now let's go. There. You ready for freedom now? Great. Let's get you back to your dad. Hmm. Well, that was not as rampagey as I thought. However, we did get to shoot some people, and we were moderately effective at that. One of the things that I do really like about this game is the combat... I don't know, the combat encounters, I suppose you call them, really aren't balanced in a way where everything's harder. Because one of my main complaints about, like, Oblivion or Skyrim is as soon as you have, like, Daedric armor, so does every bandit in the entire world trying to keep it challenging. They just, like, f get better magically to, to compensate you. That sort of leveling treadmill. And this game doesn't do that. It has some parts of it that are stupidly hard, like fighting all the Zemishi, and then, like, I can just take my little machine gun and, you know, tear through 12, 14 guys and not have a real problem. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Zoop. But yeah, so I kind of like it because it gives you the feeling that you are getting stronger and more powerful because you, like, some, some combats are just not as hard or some combats you're just better equipped for. Hey, you. Just forget I saved you. You are a terrible lady. Hey, what's up, man? Is that true? To me my greatest treasure. Of course. Did you ever find out why they took you? No. Took her? I have not been able to find out why they took Kiki. But I fear that it goes much deeper than the tongue. What do you mean? For a long time I have been trying to clean up Chinatown. It was a difficult job, but the community came together and we started to take back our streets from criminals like the Tong. Businesses reopened. Well, that's really nice. Uh, what happened? Yes. I thought that the Tong were almost gone, but then something happened. Their numbers began to grow, and suddenly they had a lot of money to buy weapons. With them followed the drugs and the violence. It is almost worse now than before. Interesting. Um, who's bankrolling them? Everything seemed to change as soon as... Uh, as soon as what? I am sorry. I have said too much. Come on, you can trust me. Well, things seemed to change as soon as Ming Zhao arrived and reopened the Temple of Golden Virtue. That was three years ago. I do not mean to insinuate that she has anything to do with hmm. the resurgence of the Tong. The two events merely seem to coincide. Some people say there's no coincidences. No. I will hear no more of it. Okay, okay. Of course. What can I help you with? I am looking for an ugly potato-faced man. Who is this person? Hmm. What else can you tell me about him? <sighs> He's a real night owl. I see. I do not think I could find him for you, but I know someone who could. Oh, really? Cool. Where can I find them? His name is Zhao. He is the man who called me and told me where Kiki was being held. Zhao has many connections. He owns an import export warehouse in Chinatown. Go and see him there. I will call ahead and tell him 
to expect you. Awesome. Thanks, man. Just hanging out here now. All right, cool. Great. All right. So as we know where Zao Imports is, we actually bumped into it when we were wandering around randomly. <laughs> oh, let's see. Hmm. Hello? Elevator? Oh, I thought I pushed the button. Well, there we go. Cool. All right, is there anything different in here? She's still hanging out. This guy's still hanging out. Um, cool. Hey, man. Yeah? The hell I hear. <laughs> All right. My boyfriend. Maybe we should try one of them. Oh, my I'm God. All right. I, you know, someday I'm going to stop picking on that girl. I know that she's put there. She's probably there as, like, a... Um, a counteraction to all of the girls that are just like, hey, I want a party at every bar where you can just go get free blood. So, like, she's there to just put you down no matter what. Although, I'm half tempted to raise my persuasion and see what what comes of it. Or, not persuasion, the other one. Seduction, right? Yeah. Yep, I could do that, actually. Subterfuge is pretty cheap. And what is... what? dictates appearance i'm one away on the appearance and like i can't really get better than that it seems or at least i can't afford it to yet but i can even improve my subterfuge and see what happens so maybe we'll do that i don't know for right now we're gonna head to tong no zao imports which is over here outside of the walls and go see what we can get from mr zao no hard feelings mr police officer i'm sorry about my rampant crime Okay. Well, I guess I take it back. It's not outside the wall, but it's over here. Oh, I have to go and return that other quest with the other guy, too. All right, I'll have to not forget about that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Awesome. This looks like a fight arena type place. I'm just gonna hope that it's just all really pretty window dressing. <laughs> hey man, what's up? That's right. Thank you. I sure you'd love to tell me, right? Johnny's at Lay's. It's his club. You'll need a password to enter. The password is 725. There will be Tom everywhere. Johnny's office is upstairs. All right, awesome. Thanks. I am a man of my word, and I owe the debt to one more. I paid that debt. I have made an enemy of the Tom, where it once belonged. Well, thanks for your help. You should leave now. You need some help with them? Excuse me. Dude, don't. This is not a good job. No. That's not what I really want. Hey, buddy, come here. I knew this was in a uh, was a fight arena. Oh my God, I'm terrible. Okay, we'll go. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's just try that again. And maybe we'll try to, you know, make our final stand up in the office like he does. Seemed to be reasonable. I Hold on. Weapons are not allowed. I can't even, like, pre-equip for the fight that's coming. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, that's right. Um, where do I find him? Awesome, thank you. Thanks for helping me. Thanks for your help. Uh, do you need help with them? Excuse me. All right, well, whatever. Um, holy crap, he just bit it, like, instantly. Wow, you... 
did not survive. I have the least efficient Magnum handgun in the history of weaponry. I think mostly it's because my skills are absolutely terrible. Hey, what's up, man? You stay out of this. Come here. This gun! It just doesn't help! <laughs> oh, alright. Uh, maybe we should get our katana out and knock some dudes around. Because, I mean, if they come and get in that doorway, we can just slash them up. I don't know. Combat is not my forte. Not by a long shot. Zoop. Zoop. Oh, now I can have weapons. Oh, wait, no, it won't let me. Yeah, it won't let me equip them. I can have them, but I can't equip them. All right. Um, hey, man, I feel bad about this. Yeah, that's right. And where do I find him? Thanks, why are you helping me? And thanks for your help. And... All right. Excuse me. Time to be a vampire. With an axe. Where's Celerity? Oh my god, getting shot by a million dudes all at once is terrible. What am I supposed to do? Definitely not that. That is for sure. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you wanted another half an episode of me, like, trying to do the same combat encounter, because that is what's happening. Um, is there a way to sneak out of here? I really don't think so. Oh man. I don't really have that much blood, do I? Actually, I have no blood that I can drink with me, so. Um, hold on a second. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Do you need some help? Excuse me. All right. Step away from the window. Stay away from the windows, man. No. No. Damn it. I think they know I'm here. <laughs> I would kill for something explosive. Do I have... I don't think there are any grenades in this game. I, I mean, not a military shooter. Why would there be? Yikes! That guy just took it out of me. Huh. Well... Hmm. You know, oops, excuse me. I accidentally minimized the game. <laughs> oh, come back. Bloodlines, please.